I would choose the right-hand weevil. It has significant advantage in both length and breadth. There, I have you. You're completely ditched. Do you not know that in the service, one must always choose the lesser of two weevils? <laughs> In addition to what must be one of the best delivered puns in cinema history, Master and Commander, The Far Side of the World had an engaging character-driven story, incredible set-piece action, and just heaps of skill and love clearly on display from both cast and crew. The $150 million high seas epic was meant to launch a fleet of films based on the material supplied by Patrick O'Brien's best-selling 20-book series. But while critics were receptive, it received only passing interest from a cinema-going public who seemed to have had their swashbuckling nautical adventure itch scratched by the far more fantastical Pirates of the Caribbean released in the summer. Both films had similar production budgets, but ultimately Captain Jack Sparrow's first voyage made as much as 10 times the profit that Captain Jack Aubrey's did, and even Master and Commander's 10 Oscar nominations and two wins in 2004 couldn't keep its franchise hopes afloat.